everyone it's Elaine and welcome back to my channel and today I want to show you my most recent journal for my design team project for Tsunami Rose um, I've used what I think are some pretty cool digitals that Daisy has created and this one is all about should I say writing and putting this one in my uh, purse or my tote bag to go it's not a big old chunky monkey it does not have a bunch of fluff in it it is meant to travel and also what I want to do today is show you um, some things that I've done with some of the designs that maybe will give you other ideas so let's get started um, first thing I did is I did a, a little book plate in here because if this is going to be out and about with me, if I leave it somewhere, hopefully somebody will know who Elaine is. Um, of course, this is one of um, Daisy's digitals. I, I'd like to, on the outside of each signature, I'd like to kind of do pretty pages. Um, I've always done that. And the other thing that I do with digitals most of the time I'll have to say because I have an inkjet printer um, so if I'm going to print on plain paper I can't really dip it in coffee or tea it's going to run so what I do is I print on both sides I um, that way I don't have to worry about staining the paper so on and so forth um, now if I coffee stain my paper first and it's relatively smooth it will go through my printer without a problem but I just wanted to explain what I do and that is most of the time I print on both sides now this is another one of um, Daisy's digitals and this one I believe came four up on a page and I've taken some old scrap fabric and I've made some tabs out of it didn't really intend to do two tabs on one page but stuff happens and again this is one of um, Daisy's digitals a little writing I like to take pages out of books or whatever and and kind of cover them up and give you a little surprise writing space now again some of them are plain some of them um, you know that's so you can play now this is one of Daisy's digitals and I want to show you what I did that is a whole page and then I did it two-sided and let's flip ahead here real quick and then that's the other half whoops that's not the other half of it I'm lying to you where's the other happy lane here it is this is the other half of it okay um, so here is what I did I shrunk it that is a normal page approximately eight and a half by eleven and in this case I put when I put it into my printer I selected two of the pages and then went over to print and then I selected it where you print either two five by sevens on a page or two four by six on a page so it takes that full size page whoops and it shrinks it down okay you can see and what I this will then get tucked into a pocket somewhere because I also you know did it two-sided and uh, that was one of the little tricks I wanted to show you so let's keep going here this is just a digital I mean not a digital this is just um, a die cut that I had and again covering up some old book pages and then all of us have chipboard or kind of old stuff that is just been sitting around collecting dust well, I have started to try to want to use that. So this is a pretty tag, and it would be cute to put a little something fun on there to glue it on. Because this is chipboard and it's glossy, you would have to have exactly the right kind of pen or marker to write on that. But then what I did do is I covered the back of it with just some coffee-stained paper. So there you could put a little note and then tuck it away. Now this is another one of Daisy's um, digitals with lines and again I did it two-sided so here's what I want to show you on that here is where I shrunk it down again alright now this time I did not do it two-sided alright and I'm going to show you why oh, art glitter glue 
because in this case what I wanted to do and I'm just gonna do this real quick nobody needs to sit here and watch me glue 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 but what I did on this one did not print it two-sided because I wanted to have it just be this size and then I can tuck it in somewhere as another little extra writing space because now I've created it two-sided right so what I'm trying to say to you basically in this is you know Daisy's digital may come full page eight and a half by eleven but you can do other things with it and shrink it down and here I even shrunk it down farther I think this was um on this page there were four three by fives that I did these were full size pages and then this isn't exactly this page but then I shrunk them down even farther I right, know and I did not do these two-sided I did not do that this one's kind of um, you can see I did that one actually twice when I printed it and that's fine what I try to do is I try to put up as many as I possibly can up on one sheet of paper all right so when I when I go to change the sizes here's an old check that um, I got from a yard sale and then this again was just me using things that I had just trying to fill up a page and you still have places to write or um, put things and again a two-sided um, digital for Tsunami Rose and here would be a good little place to um, you know like these you saw earlier it was um, about a half a page I think in this case I might tuck a couple of those in there again just little writing places um, that was just an old book page that I decorated up and put on top of a book page <clears throat> excuse me now that's the end of the second signature and then the beginning of no I'm sorry the end of the first signature then the beginning of the second signature just some an old thing that I printed off the internet some stationary paper now here would be one of the places that um, some of the things that I changed the size of I would put on top of this um, book page so this does not have to be a whole half a sheet of paper and everything you can like I said change the size of it you see my glue wants to clog up on me don't you we're going to keep on trying though so I just would place that in there and then I still have plenty of room around it if I wanted to do something else um, you know write some notes or whatever and here that this is pretty much how it came okay and then this is how I changed the size it's not exactly the same um, digital but it, it's it's the same family okay so remember that that's just my point and here's another little place I can tuck some things let's see here will that fit in there pretty well that was one of the two-sided pieces let's see if that's gonna hold in there yeah that's just fine and then here's a little tag that I had in there that I had made or actually I think someone actually gave that to me <clears throat> Alrighty, and then here's one of Daisy's digitals and again it's kinda like this where then you can change the size of it and this was just um, a paper clip with a flower, paper flower on it and I just took some plain paper and tucked up under there right and again that was one of the digitals and I made it two-sided this would be another place that I would take and put something where I, I have changed the size of the digital and we'll plop it up on there because that pattern there is also kind of busy let's get the old pin out I don't know what's been happening to my glue and I have bent my pin and um, I just ordered some new ones because of course they need to be stainless um, our glitter glue has a little kit where you can order some backup pins and it comes with these little pieces of cardboard they call nudgers and see already I don't know I have to investigate my glue later we're not going to keep going but see I would plop that down in there and now I have a place to write on there and of course you could always go down you know change the position you know put it down a little lower and do something across the top if you want to 
and again one of the digitals now here let's just plop this one in here give you a place to I tell you what let's do two of them let's do two or no I tell you what let's do let's do them where they're two different sizes yeah I like that better and uh, again just old piece of chipboard that I had and I just framed up one of the butterflies now this is onto the third signature and again two-sided digital <clears throat> excuse me and then some plain paper and this was a cutout on a journal that I had um, done a little pocket to so and I'm not going to take the time now to glue it but that's one that it was the whole piece of paper and I did it where it was two up on a page and I would glue that closed and we could just tuck that in there tuck maybe a couple little things in there okay and we could do something over there if we wanted to that was just a um, kind of a die cut thing that I had <clears throat> and here we would do something on there probably again I'm not going to take the time to do it we could do that and then these are Daisy's digitals again two-sided and I'd used a lot of them now here is one of the digitals that I changed the size of but rather than keeping it in the same way it was I, I just turned it sideways <clears throat> it really went the other way and uh, here's a little place that we can tuck some things. Let's tuck a, uh, let's tuck those two of the same thing up under there. Alrighty. And then just something that I printed off a long time ago on some paper that I had stained. And I wanted to see if it would work, and it did. And then that's pretty much it. Then that's the last of the digitals. Um, again, two sided. So. That completes my um, design team project here for July. And if you like what I did, I would appreciate you subscribing to my channel. And remember, I have a Facebook group and a Facebook page. I'm on Instagram and Twitter. Um, I also am on Pinterest. You can come and find out what my likes are. And I have a very small shop on Etsy. But this is all about Tsunami Rose designs. So go check out Daisy's Digital. She's putting some up all the time and they are fun and different and I'm sure she would appreciate you stopping by to say hello so with that being said I hope everyone is well and please behave and I will see you on the flip side bye